Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello everybody, we're here again to do a commentary this time. I'm with the Drunken Monk. What up? We're going to be watching Battlestar Galactica. This is the pilot for the reimagining in 2004. It was created by Ronald D. Moore, or developed by, and it stars too many great people to talk about. We got Edward James Olmos, Mary McDonald, Katie Sackhoff, and Trisha Heifer, I think you call it. Hi Helfer. Anyway, I'm going to say we're getting ready to play it. If anybody wants to listen along, we're at the title screen, getting ready to hit play. And play. All right, we've hit play. Okay, we hear the music coming on. You got the fucking sunburst. The earth is exploding. Universal Universal. title screen. So right away... I'll debate if it's the greatest show ever, but I think it's the greatest sci-fi. I think so. It's just, I watched it so many times, it's fucking, I'm wondering if the headphones will come through the mic, because it's fucking loud. It's pretty loud, right? Should I turn yeah. it down a little? If you want to fuck around, maybe. So the words are coming on the screen, you see the space How's station. That? They were created to make life easier on the 12 colonies. Just giving you some references so you can make sure you're watching with us. All synced up. And we're newbies, so there's not going to be any audio. We're on a different track. But I was riveted right away when I started watching this. And I'm a fan of the 1978 version. Still watch it in that sense. I rewatched it, yeah, like after we watched this. Yeah. And then it's, got, I even, it's got a charm to it. I even watched uh, Battlestar Galactica 1980. Yeah, me too. I've, yeah, I did that. But were they like invisible bikes on Earth, like motorcycles? Yeah, they had like the motor the motorcycles. Camouflage or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, they were flying. <laughs> anyway, I was such a fan of the old show. I had all the dolls and all the uh, vehicles. I thought the Vipers were better than the fucking X Wings. Like I was big into the Vipers. Right. As much as I love Star Wars. So well, they're I showing a guy going through the time periods with a peace treaty with the Cylons. What are we going to say? X-Wings can hyperdrive? Yes. Yeah. Vipers can't. No, right? they're like, whatever you, what do they call that? It's like... Uh, Impulse? Impulse power? Yeah, but it's, it's like restricted in a way, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, they don't have any star system spanning engines on those. But the Raptors do, I think. Right. No, I think they did. Didn't they get away with getting... I think they put that in the Vipers eventually. Or like the silver ones do. I don't remember. I think some of them do. I know the Raptors definitely do because they go on the scouting missions. Well, they made the the one prototype. Maybe that they one. They made a stealth doing. ship. Yeah. <clears throat> so now the guy's older. Cylons are coming into the base. And right yeah, away, I'm like, oh, it's a twist on the old ones. Yeah, he's been sitting here coming every year for yeah. like 20 years. No one shows up. And all of a sudden, oh, fuck. And it's a twist on the originals. But then you hear the high heels walking. You're like, what? And then Miss Hotness comes into the frame. Yeah. It's so cool, man. Brings back memories watching it every mm -hmm. week. Being blown away by it. <laughs> she asks him, are you alive? He looks really familiar. Who's that? Dude looks really familiar. Yeah, he's made up to look older now, but he might have been in, like, certain shows, you know. <clears throat> I 
When the music starts coming in. They did a great job with the music, too. Yeah. Definitely a great direction to go in. I was surprised. I'm such a fan of the original. I kind of wanted the original battleship, but it's interesting. Boom. So this peace treaty operation, great camera stuff, right? Yeah. The way they filmed, like the camera was getting hit. Oh. I think this is when Sci Fi Channel had like legitimacy. <laughs> Red the drums come they in. Change the name to S Y F Y. What a right? choice for music, man. Didn't they change the name from Sci Fi Channel? It took like three times they changed the name to S Y F Y. Should have just changed it to the BSG network. Word. They did for a few days once when the lockdown started because they played constant marathon twenty four hours a day the full uh full show. I was like, I want to watch this, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to sit here and watch the full show because they're just playing every episode back to back. They actually tied in like a web series, remember? When they did like season yeah. three. And it's like, you know, they're retiring the fleets. No one knows what happened to the Cylons. For years, that guy was sitting at that base going through the years. Right, they're turning this into a museum, right? Or it is a museum mm. already. Starbucks. What casting, too. This whole fucking show. Mm hmm. Yeah, they were turning the battle star into a museum. Yeah. Great, great way of showing almost a submarine atmosphere, remember? Yeah, the yeah definitely the, naval feel. Yeah, the command center looks. It's a huge battle star. Long camera shots, going through the car it is. Oh, shit. It's a drunk. Spoiler alert, he's drunk. <laughs> I like that, that they ran low tech. Right. To not be... Nothing's networked. Hacked. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh shit. Uh, what I don't know what season it is. They do a flashback with him young in that ship, right? Right. Yeah, this is his his original ship when he was a pilot. Yeah, the creepy dude. Yeah. He's in tons of creepy movies, you know. He reminds me of the Mayhem dude from the commercials. Uh, insurance commercials. He's he's just like a, a agent of chaos, the guy. He shows you how the chick can go rogue. You don't know that guy? Mayhem. So there's a uh, side Louis. plot stories that come out. He had two children, blah, blah, blah. Oh, they gave it away. Man. It's not All coffee right. in that drink. Poker table type game. Great atmosphere. He's starting shit with Starbuck already. Yeah, it starts early with them. Ooh. Even the minor characters, She's everything's going done great. Low blow, right for the wife. Yeah, go right for the wife. Everybody's like, uh oh, let's change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> they can't. <laughs> <laughs> They're just focused in on each other. They're smoking blunts, by the way, not cigar. Oh, she's gloating. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Going to the brink for punching a superior asshole. <laughs> you know, like I get to think Adama later says, and I wouldn't hear about you tossing the table over first, right? right? Something like that. He's like, yeah, yeah. Still, though, in like military, no matter what he did, you're not supposed to hit him. Right. right. Yeah, this is it, yeah. <laughs> hey, you did. You kicked that table right up. Unless I did. Hey, he doesn't remember kicking the table over.
such tones that lead to revelations, you know? Yeah. Caprica. Reflection of a ship in the window. The show was pretty good. I enjoyed Caprica. That was another spin-off. Oh, I love the show Caprica, yeah. I'm not sure if that suffered the strike time, too. Might have. What an actress, right? She's like they start her out in some deep shit, yeah, right? They just away, and she blows it out of the park. I mean, she her first scene is this. I think when I first watched this, like she was the first standout, like right. in a way. And she holds everything together. Great looking ships, right? Uh, special effects. Yeah, that ship is pretty cool looking. That's like the. Yeah, like the Air Force One or something. Right, like yeah, yeah. She's. She's like 16th and 60th in line, or 16th in line to the yeah, presidency, yeah, yeah. something crazy. I remember this kid? Boy, did he make a mistake. I think there were stories of like him in season four, whatever it was, season two, and then he would talk to the people going, look, they offered me this, they offered me that, and like, go, go. <laughs> and we know what happened. Oh, relax. How she fucking pulls it together, right? For four years. Amazing. Yeah. This was dark. Remember when this first came on there? And people were like... Yeah, what she does right now. Did right? she really do what I think she did? <laughs> Crack. <laughs> oh, man. So the Trisha Helfer, blonde, Cylon associate is on Caprica, staring at a baby at the stroller. People want to cue for where we are. Discussing the baby, how small it is. And they're playing the music, you know? Yeah. Give me my baby back, you creepy lady. Say something really creepy and mysterious holding my baby. No, I can't actually, but I'm... I bet you that guy tried to get the role of Apollo. Right. <laughs> hey, it looked like it, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, did she just snap the neck of an infant? I think so. This is fucked up. Fucked up. And you realize why she does it later. It's amazing. Like I don't remember. The whole place gets destroyed. They nuked the whole planet. Oh, that's right. Spoiler alert. My baby. This was some awesome shit. Dark. I was blown away watching this the first time. Bolta! I watched a movie he did. It's like a B movie. Uh, he played Merlin, maybe? It sounds familiar. Or Druids or something like that. It sounds familiar. What was it? What was it? It was like a movie called something, whatever the fuck. Arthur or something? What? Arthur? No, I mean, there were movies like that. Yeah, but he wasn't in it.
What a fucking actor, huh? I mean... His social distancing? He's on a video call. <laughs> video interview. Man, you can see right through that dress. I remember, I forgot what season it is. He's, um, he's doing her, and, uh, he's, there's no one there. All right. And he, he pretends he's, like, exercising or something. Oh, man. <coughs> Show wasn't afraid to be sexy. Provocative. Mm-hmm. Go Bolt out, get some. This is so weird because when you get to certain seasons and specials and some of these players are duplicates, but they come back like. Right. And they have their own storylines. It's crazy. The plan, that was one of them that reveals a lot of the shit. Smart, great cue. Her spine starts glowing. The angsty son, not used to manual docking or whatever, landing. They did space fighting and stuff, so, so it was such a great way to do it. Nice new shiny ship. Yeah. At least I was given hope, though. When I remember first watching it, like, they gotta have the original ships mm -hmm. in there. I played the online game. I had all these ships. They're pretty cool. He hasn't said nothing already. You could tell he's, you just want to smack him. Yeah, he didn't even say thank you for taking yeah. his helmet off and neck collar thingy. Ooh, pushing back. Chief. You selfish, self absorbed son, you. We don't network shit here, buddy. Oh, yeah, man. Raptor. The gimbal? That fucking gimbal. <laughs> <laughs> so the obvious space, shit that's right? <laughs> Strip down. <laughs> Let's get busy.
All right. That would just ruin my mood. All right. Sir. Right before you, you get it on, you really got to call us, sir. <clears throat> what? I can't do okay. that. I don't remember if some of the crew knew him already. Well, uh, well we know Starbucks. Starbucks, but... right. At least she did. She's so tall. <laughs> yeah. And then she puts heels on. She's even taller. Someone mentioned God. I can't watch this. What is this? <laughs> There's a lot of that in this. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely mocking it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's right, Balta Tala. Fuck religion. Oh. Yeah, smooth. I don't know why, but I can see Boltop playing like Prince in a movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> big secret. Oh shit, the original Cylons. A lot of models of the originals. Yeah. I used to play with those toys. I forgot they arrived first. I thought there was an incident. But I think that happens later when they decide we're going to help try to help people or something. Right. <laughs> yeah, you get lost on you're that lost. shit quick. Every every corridor looks the same. No, nope, not in here. No. Networks. No networks. <laughs> no internet.
Oh, they had such a rapport. <clears throat> so great. Shit. <laughs> Funeral. I like how they don't keep things too long, like in the, in the like these are subplots that we're learning about. They go deep, but right. they get resolved at a good pace. Yeah. You know? Go see your daddy. You got to say it twice, dude. That's yep. She planned that all out. <laughs> <laughs> the Balta lives like Tony Stark or something. Word. Right? Sick house on the water. Ten foot tall hottie. Just sitting in his bed watching him sleep with some chick. Another hottie in bed. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't, <laughs> the face he just made. <laughs> I ain't fucking with this chick. I guess you should go. Her spine glows when she fucks. Word. <laughs> Subtle music, always good. I don't know, he has to be with his father, Justin. The first time he's seen him, he fucking bought his ship. You don't go and see him right away. They can't even stand close to each other. <laughs> oh, boy. They wanted to put his arm around his son. Because people are wondering, we're up to the part where the father and son meet, and the press is there.
I think a lot of his expressions are oh. trying to do a uh, American accent because he's like British or something. Mm. It's pretty obvious they knew he didn't have the chops, right? Mm-hmm. We find the revelation much later in the series. No, I don't know if it's much later, is it? Yeah, I don't remember when that happens. The resolution is later, but the reveal might be in, even in this from Starbuck to him. Right. I don't know. But father and son... It does seem like it came later, though. It does, yeah. Back on Caprica. <laughs> Synthetic woman. Callback, 1978. <laughs> 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 and the choices of music for scenes they they nail it <laughs> <laughs> oh boy survival mode yeah just fuck go on facebook yeah I think parts are like a season of them trying to pin the shit on them, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Time to freak out. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh shit, humanity's children. Original music. Great music, too. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha. 
to, to some military people that was like pride, you know, like yeah. oh shit, Trump put the planes around the fucking <laughs> the White House. I don't think he ever gets to finish this. Because he did it like nine times in the opening. Then this gets interrupted, right? Oh, right. Well, he looks like a murderer in the back in that background. That guy is a creepy like guy. A psycho. I don't think he has any lines either. He just stands around like a psycho. Yeah. The first of many great speeches on this show. Mm-hmm. And when you go back to uh, Caprica, he's a child, right? Yeah. His father starts getting involved mob-wise to help the yeah. computer guy, right? But I think he's a kid. In that I think movie. so. So he did finish it. Yeah, yeah why do we think he got interrupted here? Mm. Well, because it's going to go down soon. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so she leaves. That's why I thought she was... um. Right. She didn't arrive yet. Right. They came for the ceremony. Right. So the Secretary of Education comes on a ship for the decommission his retirement. Right. It leaves. And in the process, there's a, they don't realize there's a war going on. By the way, this was broadcast on like two nights, Damn. four hours or something like that. Holy shit. Yeah, some of the footage is just eerie. Wow. Fucking planet's getting nuked. It's creepy. She's revealing that um, there's 12 models. She's number six. And if she dies, she'll wake up in a body with their same memories. That was sick how long the delay between the flash yeah. was and that shockwave. Yeah. It's insane. But she knew exactly how long it was. Yeah, yeah, she said, yeah. get down. She protected him from the blast.
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Silent attack under the way. This is no joke. Great fades to black, you know? <laughs> right, that was probably... Commercial breaks for the... Yeah. Because it just said they ran it... That was... Four hours over two nights. 45 minutes or so? Right. Action stations. It was like one episode. Right. They should have broke them up like that into... um. Well, they did for TV. They just didn't do it right, for Right, but for the, the box sets. Right. Or for, you know, like, if you find it on Amazon Prime or something, or whatever they're streaming this on, I don't know if they have this. Now, the ship series. is being decommissioned. It doesn't have ammo. It's being ready to be put in, uh, to be an actual museum. So the right. people are freaking out when the orders start coming. <clears throat> yeah. Is this a prank? Fucking Adama, man. He's riveting, you know. With a chisel, you know. Oh shit, he had a line. Creepy shit. guy. He looks like he's happy. War with the silence. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> get our best pilot out of the fucking yeah, break. Get the best pilot in the galaxy. Hint, hint, hint. So the Raptor Scout, better radar. Damn. 
30 battle stars is a quarter of the fleet, so it's 120 battle stars? Wow. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. Right, get the old Mark twos, white and red. Ah, oh, it's my one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> oh shit! Is that the first frack? <laughs> no, I heard one. Oh before. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, network shit. No. It's all new battle stars. Was it like uh, 12 Vipers, it looks like? Maybe yeah, something more? like that, maybe. Yeah. And they're all the new ones, the silver. I think those are the Mark 7s, I think. Or Mark 6. Could be about 15, maybe. And maybe two dozen, right? So twenty-four. So they keep getting jammed. They don't know if it's two ships, seven ships, squadrons now. I still like the originals. I love those disc type ships. Cool idea to put like the heads on. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I thought they would have expected this. So dumb, right? With oh my, that's terrifying. Right? Camera angles are awesome. The ships all lost power, all the fighters. They're bouncing into each other, drifting. Wow, they're all just drifting around. Tell that from that? Okay, I guess. Oh, missiles just streaking everywhere. Boom. Fuck. Oh, you hear their screams? They're fucking burning in their cockpits. This poor secretary finds out she's got cancer. She's trying to fucking get through it, and she's in the middle of this shit. Man. <clears throat> I 
I saw Dharma's was escorting them. Uh, the younger one. Right. That's right. I forgot why they were separated and stuff. Right. And he sort of like takes her side on a bunch of arguments, right? They called it the swallow. So the silence fired two missiles at him. Strange. I don't know if they ever do either. They never. I don't remember them depowering a raptor. Maybe a raptor at some point. Yeah. Obviously not this one, but I don't even remember it, them doing it at all. They're shutting down power, floating in. We got that from Star Wars, right? Mm. <laughs> Float away with the garbage. Great music again. This is just a carnage. The fleets are destroyed. They're showing the planet, and it's just amazing. So we're at the part where Adam is explaining to the crew what's going on. Planet's devastated. Yeah, they couldn't just walk to some place and or FTL and just start fighting. That's part of the thing. Shaking. Yeah, there's a. I forgot, there's a certain amount of planets they had inhabited and colonies, places. 12. Right. Yeah, because they're going to the 13th. And they hmm. typed in there. And they always say the 12 colonies. Let him go. Oh, he's on my shirt now, motherfucker. <laughs> so there's chaos. Madam Secretary is... Oh, like I think that's what he calls her, like Madam Secretary, right? Or something like that. 
uh, during the show? Secretary of Education. And she just pulls it together, starts taking charge. The questions are coming. Oopsie. Sign on more. This shit, is like this radio chatter, is yeah. fucking great. Yeah, yeah. It's scary, scary, creepy. The music they do it a, a few times. Yeah. through this, and, and it's the like, subtle sounds of the sound effects, the music cues. You can't leave us. Remember that that scene. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I don't know if that's this. I think it's later, like season yeah. three or something. No, no, I think it's relatively early. You're gonna rot in hell. Mm. <laughs> She's asking if they've tried to give up. They tried to get a peace tree. Like, right? No one knows what's going on. So we're up to the part where the Cylons found. Oh my the god! Secretary of Education, missiles coming. Where is Apollo? Yeah, now Apollo. There jumps we in. go. In the red and white fucking Mark II, such baby. a great scene. He fucking pulls off right in front mm. of it. Fucking trail this missile off over here. Some balls. The show got such critical acclaim for the way they displayed these battles and the physics of the ships and stuff it's pretty cool you're watching Battlestar Galactica the pilot miniseries Apollo just saved this new president who will be the new president mushroom cloud if anybody wants to key up where we are bombs are dropping pretty terrifying scene and we're at the Raptor that got damaged and had to land. He's timing the explosions and the sound. And he knows the time's running out type thing. He's injured, limping. Oh, you hear people crying and screaming. That is people fleeing, refugees, you know. Baltar's got his books. <laughs> <laughs> He's running with a stack of books. People are wondering. The people are fleeing the city. Baltar just fell. Music's keying up. Oh, that wasn't Balto with the books. I guess, right?
<laughs> this freak is trying to get Apollo to take charge. He's like, all right, I'm going to go take over. Right, because now he's captain. He is military. He's starting to see, like, okay, yeah. this bitch knows what she's talking about. Can you see his face, the idiot guy? You've been dismissed. <laughs> they have a great relationship to the whole thing, I think, right? Mm hmm. Jesus. Boxy. Never did anything with this fucking little fucking right? Region. Why not? It's just the, sh it's, the show does not have that feel. That's why. I no, guess. yeah. They were like, let's see what this. Let's, we, let's just put this on the Easter yeah. again. Maybe we'll give him the fuzzy little robot dog. No way. No, sorry. Adam was like, no green fucking aliens. Remember that? He's yeah. like saying, if we start fucking visiting alien planets, I'm fucking yeah. out of here. Oh, this is so cool. I remember getting so excited watching the first launch almost like, you know. Yeah. So the older models were launched. They bought the takeoff for the best pilot. <laughs> right. Move it, move it. Lots of military talk, but more like submarine stuff. Yeah, it gives you that, that feel like yeah, you're on yeah. an aircraft carrier. Man. Even like the way the deck crew is dressed. Mm hmm You know? <laughs> Pull them out. Most that are engaged in battle. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, she's going crazy. Yeah, she's got to get out there. Yeah, Starbucks out now. Oh, the music starts coming, the drums. So they're revealing now that the more so technologically advanced Vipers were incapacitated like nothing, but these older ones are able to stay in the fight. They can't be shut down immediately. You can still fucking kill them now. That's mm -hmm. sick. Got nukes. The sound of the guns and everything. Dude. She took two fucking nukes out. Here it comes. Crazy that ship can just yeah. take a fucking nuke. That is awesome. Great transition. The hull plating, right? How fucking right that would be another episode. Great visuals. I think there's also kind of preparing us that a nuke from a fighter, they can survive. But those big battleships is when they have to run all the time. Right. It's probably larger. Yeah, yeah. Payloads. When they fight the battleships. Where was that crazy guy? Yeah, crazy guy got some desperate lines out of Get it together, sir. Dude, XO is back. I need a minute. Is it when the creepy guy buys it? <laughs> there, there it goes. <laughs> wow, they show the bodies getting expelled into space. 
Some dark, serious shit. So are the hundred guys. I need a minute. No one's a rookie anymore. Sometimes you gotta make the hard calls. There's a great scene is <laughs> Lady's asking for his help because she can't read. She's got the number for the lottery to get on the ship. Uh oh. <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> he was about to use that ticket too. Yeah, he was gonna take the ticket from the blind lady and <laughs> he, aren't you going I didn't do nothing? What a fucking, what integrity, like, what? So he's wounded. He gives up his seat for the one of the greatest scientific minds who's actually responsible for all this. <laughs> for all the bullshit. Wow. Great writing. She has to leave him behind. You know, he got such good response. They were writing him out of the show. Oh, yeah, so they did that whole other storyline. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you get such a good cast, you get, you know, you run with it. I think they chose good, like, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't focus on that, Katie. Boxy. <laughs> what was the dog's name? I don't know. Great music. Oh, well, th yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah, I can survive in space. Oh, he just fucking plugged that guy. She could have just turned and knocked him off the wing, right? You'd have to kill him. Maybe he knew that could have endangered everybody. Right, probably. You know. What does this do is like stomp on it or something? The extra weight and it can't take off, you know? You're a hero. So we're now up to the scene where the Secretary of Education got the code. So she needs them to send her ID code and any officials left alive will get information fed back on where they fit on this new, like who survived.
Dom is sitting. Nice quiet talk. Forty third. <laughs> Forty three, forty third in line. Let's see. They do a flashback with that too somewhere. Yeah. And they use flashbacks well. They never mm -hmm. overdid it. They never, they never got silly. Uh oh. The shit is shaking again. Yeah. <laughs> Pilot's hand in her paper. You, you should be a pilot, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Shake your hands. If anybody's joining us, he just handed her the paper. She's putting her jacket on. I think she now knows she's the president of the galaxy. I need a priest. Yeah. Oh, this is bullshit. Well, she got the shaky hand there. Yeah. The camera, shaky camera, everything works. Mm hmm And you feel like you're there. Because there are, there are, the press is there, you know? Yeah, you feel like you're one of them. What an actress. Give her the award. Oh, I think he comes out charcoal. The oh. fucking creepy guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> comes out all cold up. He didn't get to put on his fucking... Eighty five dead. Yeah, someone's going to be angry. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. I forgot about him actually being charcoal. Yeah. He's not going to have any more creepy lines, this guy. Chief's upset, his men dead. Shit. Domino fuck around. Domino would have made it sooner. I think. Probably. That was the building getting demolished. What the fuck was that? Uh -huh. 
hyperlight jump that could put them in a sun. So they have to get to the station because there's all the fucking fleets in between them. The enemy. I love how everybody's just fucking mm -hmm. strung the fuck out. Nope. Tom is taking command. Colonial one. Oh shit, that scene might be in this, Justin. What? You fucking leaving us on you. It might be, yeah. <laughs> Daddy's in charge. <laughs> I love that she just starts from the beginning. Oh shit. President of the 12 colonies. Flexing first the the commander of the fleet. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, it's so good. So great, this fucking show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a joke? What? Did this fucking, fucking kid secretary me? of fucking education a teacher? The woman who was trying to get me to network my ship an hour ago? <laughs> fucking teacher? <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, middle of a war. The people are queuing up to where Saddam is. You taking orders for a school teacher?
Like, what did she think she was going to do, though? Uh, her only defense is him. Well, I'm, no, I'm guessing, like, I would say she would reach out to any surviving ships, like, who has armaments. Right. Like, and maybe try to form a fleet, but... He knows what's going to happen there. Damn, they killed off his son this quick. Yeah, man. They don't fuck he didn't make it show. out of the pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the pilot didn't make it out of the pilot. <laughs> Jamie Bamber. Now he's gonna go on a, wants to go on a warpath. He needs a fucking little model ship to break right now. Yeah, that real five hundred thousand dollar <laughs> fucking <laughs> antique that he destroyed in smash. season two or three. His fucking only surviving son's dead. He's got to take command. He's got to move on. Still going through with the fight, the jump. You heard him. <laughs> the first hour and a half of this, he, he looks like he's lost. He's like, hey, where am I? <laughs> like every time he looks around. A lot of people are like that. Yeah. That's smart. Where am I? <laughs> that damn gimbal. Yep, creepy guy's dead. Now this just turn everybody's world is turned on in. Uh oh, Apollo. No one's okay. Little child woman. <laughs> <laughs> she does look like a little kid. Right? <laughs> She's tiny and yeah. her face is yeah, like that baby face. We are about halfway through. They're cutting back to Sharon in the raptor with Boxy. Maybe Boxy was the dog. No, Boxy was Boxy the kid. Boxy was the kid's name? Okay. Yeah. That's right. You'll be okay. Hmm. Boxy. 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 Something just happened. That was weird. What was that? Oh, my, the, um, I hooked my phone up to charge it to the laptop, so it, you know, did the USB connection. Bloop. It was. 
Shouldn't have done anything on your computer. You didn't hear it to don't? Yeah, I heard it. That was from your computer? Yeah. Okay. Great shots of the battle star. Whoa. This old rust bucket hasn't fucking jumped light speed jump. Wow, they do a long count. Slowest countdown ever. <laughs> Four people are trying to sync up. Three. Two. One. Jumping. There we go. Whoa. They don't really concentrate on that much later in, in the seasons. But they make... The the warping of no, space. No, but they make like, uh, yeah. lots of issues about jumping. Right. You know. I guess after a while, this crew gets so used to it. Yeah. Well, it would have taken them three days to get here, and they would have to go through the Cylon fleet, so they risk jumping for the first time in 20 years right. to get right to the station. So they made it. It was the first time you hear applause and people shake hands. It had a good feel. I remember being a little shocked by it, like, like yeah. wow, you know? They're very practical, clear maps over tables, you know, no holograms right. and things like that. Oh, they revealed the president is alive. How'd they survive? Captain Apollo. It was like the first and only techno babble they fucking use. Right, yeah. It's like coming from Why Star Trek. Why don't you just do that every time that somebody shoots a nuke at you? <laughs> yeah, just, just keep these Load coils. those things onto the ship. Dude, You've beaten the Cylon. I walk around in, that, in a coil yeah. all the time. Well, every time a Cylon shows up, hit that coil. Okay, Boom. Piss out. Yeah, like you're knocked out. Big deal. Blah. Yeah, it's the passenger line, dude. I think you called it. Because they don't have an FTL. Right. The other one is that epic scene where she's in like a planet, a, a plant ship, like a, well, it's, a yeah, forest it's ship. A glass something? dome type thing yeah, with the yeah. little kid, right? Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I might be mixing them up. Mm -hmm. It's been a few times they've had to leave people. <laughs> It was a hint that Starbuck had a thing for the brother who died. And now she just lost Apollo. Or she thinks she did. Dom has got all the dog tags that people are keeping up. No, that's not a Dom. Some lieutenant guy. It's 
Chop. Prayers don't work. Well, in this series, they might. Yeah, from her. Cost of war. Great shots. They got a dock with the Ragnar station. Get some ammo. Some warheads. And they just sealed. Hard seal. You know, when you watch some of the behind the scenes stuff, they all should have won awards by just like what they were limited to use and how well they used right. it. Right. Just makes you feel like you're everywhere that you're supposed to be. Right. Not like I love Star Trek, but you go on a planet and you're like, uh, yeah. you know? <laughs> sometimes it looks kind of <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> they did everything well, so well. Uh oh, surprise! Someone on the station. He's going on to do a lot of things. That guy. Yeah, I've seen him in. Not other superstar, stuff. but yeah. You know. Whoa, that was racist. Was like... Go to a Mark 7, it's okay. And Sharon's explaining to Apollo the hacking, the older ships are better. Well, for the storyline, he is, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, and guess what? People loved him so much. The other... Uh, Hilo? They loved him so much. Right. They said, you know what? Let's let's write some stuff. Mm -hmm. I love how things unfold. Like this is just a pilot. But the interactions with these two, man. The uh, raptors have light, you know, light to be jumped. <laughs> Finger off that trigger, shaky. Yeah. You see the latest Karen with her gun? meme video 
the, it was a, a dude and, and his wife? Or was it just a, one? No, it was a car. Oh, no. I Apparently, the car backed up, almost hit this lady, this black lady. You don't see that part. But the fucking chick gets jumps out of the passenger seat with a gun pointed at the people going, like, you jumped in front, you jumped behind my car, you jumped behind my car, oh, and she's pointing God. a gun. It's pretty crazy. He wants it now. <laughs> Two thousand people, I gotta keep that in mind. Well, I would have been like, well, I am in Arms Depot, so I yeah, might have 2,000 bullets here. <laughs> oh, this was such a revelation, you know? Fucking sick. So we're at the scene where Baltar's first imagination. Number six is right next to him. Actually, no, his second. Because he had a, he saw her before he gets on the Raptor, and then yeah, she but that could have been her because I think there's a cutscene that's really her. Oh, I mean, she survives. That, yeah, that might be. Yeah, because I think she meets somebody on the planet. She becomes one of the revolution every right. people at the end. This is definitely his first interaction yeah, right. with his hallucinations. So. And they play with this. I've never seen it done better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so good. You know, her and Katie Sacco are still friends. They go on motorcycle rides and stuff. Oh, yeah. The lighting, the shadow, man, this show just never missed a beat. <laughs> God is love. I've heard that argument. Online, I've debated people with that. This starts a hilarity of seasons of him getting caught doing like, <laughs> shit with imaginary people. Stuff. Okay, if anybody's watching with us, Adama just opened the hatch. The sick looking refugee. They're getting ammo from the station. How easy do these things go off? Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, just open the door now. Great scene, though. 
black screen queued up you just hit the point they're coming back commander You would think that you're on a station, it'd be sick equipment. Right. But okay. It's an arms depot. So now Dom is stuck in this chamber with the creepy sick guy. Colonel Ty, the guy uh, who killed the other this, but I'm not telling him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give him a bottle of whiskey. I'm going to say that's one durable flashlight. Word. Definitely. That looks like a Star Trek ship. Oh, look, that's the ship. Oh, shit. It does happen already. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, look at this actor. Look how young he is. He's been in tons of stuff. Oh, the kid with the doll. Is this where the tally comes? Remember they still keep it like a fucking tally? Yeah, yeah it probably does start now, right? Yeah. So the president's sitting down with the little girl. People are trying to key up with us. Get the cutest, most adorable kid. Break your fucking heart. You know, that couldn't have been an ugly, you know, mongoloid child. <laughs> this is heartbreaking. Tilium. I remember that from the game. You just have to mind that shit. Mm, that's right. And they gank you when you're fucking mining it. Two fucking silence. Oh, the players too. It was one of the best PvP players of games um, ever. Wow, it's just funny. And I remember in a way, she forms the fleet. Yeah. Yeah. Great camera shot spinning around. Just fucking zap them again, dude. Yeah, come on. Oh, 
Uh oh. He has to say it, right? Uh oh. Oof, I have cancer. Ugh. Worlds coming yeah. to an end. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't say it. Don't. Oh, the little girl's ship can't make the jump. Oh, he was walking away. <laughs> I think the chat is coming, right? Yeah. If people are keen watching with us to get ready to jump, leave all the ships behind. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Fucking sound effects to zooming out on the president. The little girl. Oh. Good time to sync up with us. Gotta leave him behind. Oh, fuck. they can't even let them know where to meet them. So it leads you to believe it's kind of really fucked up because there's no enemies right now. Yeah. They just think they're coming. Well, no. You're right. They think they're coming. And they're just legit. <clears throat> and it they're pays coming. off All right, they're coming. We were right. Let's get the fuck right. out of here. That's it. And they sent four, four, five Cylons. Yeah. And every one of these ships can be shut down probably by the Yeah, And the nukes going off. It's... Oh. I hope you people rot in hell for this. Epic shots. Oh, man. Oh, the missiles are coming at the ships that can't get out. Fuck. Oh. 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 They're going to show us a little girl with the doll. People are syncing up with us. At least she us. doesn't know. No one knows, yeah. And then it just burst to white. Bravo, man. This fucking show. It's not even over. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, my God. Back to the Ragnarok station. They call it Ragnarok station. <laughs> I think it's Ragnar. Yeah. <clears throat> Am I just Thor showed up? Like the Viking from Vikings is Ragnar. The main character. Ragnar Lothbrok. Huh. Huh. Ha ha ha. Yeah, this is great. Don't bring God into this. Fuck wrong with you. He's giving himself away. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. God didn't create the Cylons.
Because I think it's... He, I, Adama knows he has to give this guy a beating, but does he know he's a Cylon is the problem, you know? Oh, he just spoiled it, bro. <clears throat> people watching along, they're like... 17 years. <laughs> That's the point, because people who watch it don't watch it and listen with us, because it's the first time. Mm-hmm. Might have ruined it for some No, it's one of the rules of engagement on <laughs> the terms of service and YouTube. What? Oh, incoming. Uh, oh, right, because yeah, the police just jumped. Damn, 50,000 people. 50,000, yeah. Oof. Yeah, war is over. We lost. Senior pilot, senior captain, there. Disaster pod, do they have like little bubble things? <laughs> like, yeah, what the hell is a disaster pod? Don't they actually show it, do they? I'm guessing it's like a stripped down raptor or something. Oh, uh, maybe it's got like food and stuff, like. Survival, yeah, yeah, stuff repair disease. parts, maybe yeah. something like that. Oh, I think she finds out she, uh, his girlfriend's alive, right? Yeah, oh, oh, little boy, oh, I can't wait to Boxy. see his story develop over four seasons. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, shit. Little virgin boy gets a kissy. <laughs> Walter's like jealous, like what? I'm the fucking ladies oh, man. man. What is going on here? Yeah, I think there's like behind the scenes stuff cut out that they turn the kid invisible, but he's on every episode. <laughs> but they mute him and he can't he can't emit sound and they can't <laughs> only see Baltar him. can see him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. 
Starbuck and Apollo reunited. You can tell what a good actor he is because he was such a dick. He's such a dick in the first fucking half hour of this thing. He's and now you're just like charmed by him, you know? It's like Yeah. The new Kang. Yeah, like they within the span of this whatever it is, two hours of watching, right, they've yeah. effectively made you Great connect story, you with yeah. everybody. The little arcs and all explored in the pilot perfectly developed just enough. Oh, she's a little happy. Back to Ragnarok Station if people are watching with us. Great scenes. The station must have so much equipment on it. Come on. Yeah, pulling those coils, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? Let's put a coil on every ship. Yeah, this guy's looking bad. <laughs> Must be your allergies. So this was a little surprising. That he knew, right? Yeah. This is great. Another revelation. Destroy the body to live on. See, there's a little too much. He knows a little too much, it feels like. But Yeah, well, right. Yeah, yeah. But he's he's been in a war with them. You know what I mean? So Yeah, but they didn't have any flesh. No, but I get it though. Oh, still got superhuman strength. Oh, oh. Oh shit, lifting him right off the ground. Oh, Damn. I'm okay.
Ooh. Ooh. Flashlight uppercut. Dama fucking burning him with steam. Hitting him with the fucking flashlight. People trying to figure out where we are. Boom, bam, oh. bam. I'm fucking angry. His son is dead. His other son is dead. He's bash your fucking skull in. Oof. That's another giving you an excuse why they're not always shut down now in the future. They figured out right. what the actual mechanism was. We hit the bathroom. The closet? No. Just muted your uh, mic. Letting everybody know Justin's going to the bathroom. You bring a mic with you? Number six appeared again in his mind. Just kind of interrupting his thoughts now. It's interesting. <laughs> His expressions are great. Number six in the red dress. Iconic. It's like one of the first times Six appears again, but she's now fucking up his communicating with people because she's kind of distracting him. And this red dress, right? Iconic forever. Just. Sexy lady. So this is weird. Like she's showing him a device, right? That's just gives you the first hints. This is not what it seems like, you know, the normal. He's having delusions. Right. But I mean, it could be his subconscious. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean. It's no, just, it's just adding the layers yeah, to the complexity of is he seeing things? Is it a chip in his head? Like she said, you know. <laughs> so there's a silent device on the ship. I remember being so like, so she's helping him and like not understanding like how deep are they were going to get with this. Oh. 
Cut to black. If you key it in, he just said there's a Cylon on the ship. We're in the last quarter of this movie. Pilot. Battlestar Galactica from 2004. Reimagining. I don't remember how he, how they breached this situation. Like, again, like, this is great. <laughs> You're not helping. <laughs> Sex with Asylum for two years, baby. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember going, like, when you think about it, like, there's so much shit, so much impact, so much weight, and then they go to this. It's just amazing, man. <laughs> 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 you look a little flushed. <laughs> Great camera shot, pan around, and she's back. All right, so he sets it up. I saw him touch something. Here. That looks like Joe Rogan right there when, when, he was, when he was in news. That is Joe Rogan, dude. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. What the fuck do you do? You find out that they can look at you, look like you now, down to your blood. They were saying. Man. Yeah, a little good news. I love how that comes back to bite him in the ass, Commander. Right? Daddy, son. You're fucked up. Oh, 
Oh, they're hugging and people are syncing up. Finally letting through. He loves his dad. If only they could find out something that would let them off the hook, both of them. <laughs> wow, he hasn't, he hasn't hugged me since I was two. <laughs> All right, let's get that fleet together and go kill Cylons. I remember this goes on for a while and he starts going, well, give me some fucking results. Like, so they're asking him to basically find out how to detect the silence. I'd love to have one of those in my room. It's going to bed, go to sleep in a Viper. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't even have our own ship yet. It's like it's like someone else's call sign from like twenty years ago. Oh. The revelation. Damn. So much happened. In this yeah. I, so like Starbuck is revealing happened. that she was in love with his brother, so she passed him. And he shouldn't have, and he died. So his father isn't to blame, and he's just finding out right now. It's crazy. You have a feeling if they were in a bar, he'd be beating the shit out of her right now. He wouldn't be hugging her. <laughs> Maybe he'd be fucking her. <laughs> Yo, Joe Rogan didn't do shit. <laughs> right? Doesn't his hand look like Sure, yeah, yeah. He looks like a cross between Joe Rogan and Brian Cash. Yeah, exactly. He's their man child or whatever. Holy shit. You should get a nice picture of this actor and do a meme to them. Yeah. When you combine Joe Rogan and Brian Callen, you get a sideline. Look at him. <laughs> this is like five minutes after <laughs> and he walked out and blamed. And he has to give this up because yeah. he can't produce it again.
Uh oh. <laughs> Slick. You know, he's a brilliant coward, but you know. <laughs> this is great. Fracking line. <laughs> I'm human. All right, so now they're checking the device out. Stop drinking. <laughs> hmm. Copy that. Roger, Roger. RCS thrusters, I think they're called. So Starbuck is looking out. She just broke the nebula barrier around the space station and his fucking battleships there, Cylon battleships, the whole fleet. Fucked. Well, first confrontation after the battle. <laughs> ah, she makes him wait. <laughs> That comes back in an episode. This is so fucking good, man. So we're getting ready for the confrontation. Adama and uh, Madam Secretary of Education. Madam Secretary President. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. So Where you going? Mm 
move has begun yet. <laughs> yeah, run. <laughs> Such a great speech. Just dialogue is amazing. She's telling him the fucking human race is done. You can't just go to war. Hmm. They're going to try to jump out. This is nuts. So, you know, Dom is picking up the cues from... Interactions on the ship, he's starting to realize, yeah. Oh, Dama might have to swallow his pride here. <laughs> Oops, better start having babies. <laughs> Is that an order? I mean, he, he, you saw the reports, 120 ships, uh, they're all gone. Or well, battleships, I mean. Hmm. This is one battle star left, you know? So they got to go out, become a shield, basically, get everybody out of there, and then have all the pilots, fighter pilots, get back on the battle star and get away.
Uh -huh. Oh, don't matter if you're silent now. Can't take the risk. Here we go. Fucking awesome. Getting ready for the ending of this thing. Galactic is coming out of this gaseous nebula around the station. Give them time to get away. Wow, that's sick. This is so nuts, man. Wow. Such a difference from the science fiction, like lasers and stuff, you know? Ha, great camera shot. See it, as long as the vipers. Yeah. First real battle. Ah, this is great, man. <laughs> well, he said he wanted all those pilots to come back. What is this? The board mission. <laughs> <laughs> Great visual. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, I thought he would be in his silver one, but he's not. I guess they didn't re re retrofit him yet. Right, yeah, they gotta retrofit him. Time for some fancy flying. Oh, he's only got one fucking wing. Apollo's going down in battle. He's never gonna get back. Uh oh, here comes your death. He has like PTSD from this. No, that's the other one. I don't remember. 
Fucking riveting. Recolo fighters. Was the silver one there? Mm. Maybe they could, you know, they refitted what they could. I guess so. Wow. Gotta leave Apollo. Sorry, but just can't go leave Apollo. He's not worth it. What do you hear? She's still taking him on. You gotta rein this fucking maniac in. <laughs> Just. But now, how are you gonna get fucking Apollo in? It's a fancy flying. <laughs> She's coming right at him. Oh, she wedges her ship into his and guides him in. This is fucking nuts. Right <laughs> Beyond insane. Wow, this is just amazing. She f <laughs> Remember, he was scared because he had to come in manual. Mm -hmm. On his own. She's coming in attached to him. I think this scene was used a lot, right? Yeah, Use it from different angles. Opening. Yeah. In the opening theme song. I never right, heard. right, right. Fucking great. Galactica. Watching the remnants. Yeah, So we're at the end of this, getting close. The priest is saying prayers for the survivors. So say we all.
This is the chills, so say we all. He ad libs a lot of his people are like freaking out, I heard. Or just the way he delivers the lines right. was unexpected. Oh, oh boxy. boxy. This is the last time we'll see him. <laughs> no, he's in like another scene. Uh oh, sacred scrolls. No shit. I know where it is. It's like uh, a Pacino. Boy, mad line delivery. She knows he's bullshit. And he's looking, he's <laughs> him too. He's like, really? Mm hmm. What? 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 Huh? But you just announced it to everybody there. And you know there's this... Yeah. Whole, oh, no, they think they got rid of him. But they haven't tested everybody. <clears throat> so they do didn't think they got rid of one yet. Right. Oof. So say we all. So say we all. So say we all. Try it. So are we supposed to repeat that one? Well, Say it well. loud. So should we repeat that? I don't know, guys. Like, whoa, this guy can act. Oh, man. <laughs> that was fucking amazing. What a speech he just gave. Like, I remember people you know, talking about it like, everybody was fucking charged right. up and nut. Uh... Oh, hell yeah. He's sitting there and he's delivering that shit. <laughs> He's always trying to hold it together. <laughs> oh shit. So oh, shit, he apologized. Look at him. He's gonna die. He might die. It's the hardest thing he's ever done. <laughs> You're a bastard. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, shit. Ramen noodles. Hey, you just bullshit everybody, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Quick break it. It's no beating around the bush. You got me. Yep, I have something to live for. Yeah, but she's kind of got him though, eh? Mm. Okay, yeah, I keep the secret, but you better not interfere with me. <laughs> My shit. <laughs> I'll think about it. Oh, this is so great, man. <clears throat> I've watched a show with just them two on it. Right? Yeah, right. Wow, that's another hint right there. Sleeper agents. That's interesting, you know. It's on his own side. I think they talked about the picture he burns because they had to get a different actress. Mm. I don't know if he pulls it back out or not, but oh shit, we got a oh, last Boxy. scene. I can't wait for his arc. Yeah, because he actually now knows his anger towards his father was always misplaced. <clears throat> I guess you could still be mad, like, you know, you're a military dad. You were a dick, you know? Right. You did instill in us, we got to get these bars on our shoulder. Mm.
<laughs> Showing a little bit of the charm and the hope. Mm-hmm. Fucking, she's like eight years old. <laughs> Look, desperate times. You need uh, every every soldier you can get. No. Not that I was sorry. It's actually Starbucks' fault, but we'll get to that in another episode. Uh oh, there's a note. Get ready, people. There are only 12 Cylon models. Oh, fucking awesome. And then you, because you're wondering, yo, they fucking put an innocent man and they just fucking locked him right. up. Because Baltar's a maniac. They reveal a lot here. What? They reveal a lot here. They reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> More than, you know, just um, just him. You felt more drawn out, from, you know, in memory. <clears throat> Yo, Joe Rogan's been sweating up a storm. He's been working out on the treadmill. Three models are revealed. One, two, three, and then four comes out now, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh shit, it's revealed by your command. All right, Great we are ending. finished. Battlestar Galactica 2004. The credits are rolling up. Music is playing. What a fucking treat, man. This is so good. It's so good, and it makes me want to just throw it in as in the realm of just the best show. Like, I like to be. Yeah, it's up there. Neutral and say yeah. sci-fi, but then if you want to do a criteria and say, you know what, Joe? Only the greatest shows have to have five seasons. And then what? We pull it. But it had enough web series. It had specials. Yeah. Um, Not only with Pegasus, but there was like webinar, like, you know, like web type episodes. Mm -hmm. Then they came out with things like The Plan. Right. And Caprica. <laughs> I don't remember. Was that two or one season? I think Caprica was one, but it might have been broken up. Mm. So this is our first commentary you might hear and not hear us at times because we're new at this and we're just watching along and that was trying to make some commentary on it. But it just ended. The triangle's coming up. <sighs> when we are finished with this, this was <clears throat> such a treat. Man, it's, I want to watch every fucking episode now. It just keeps me so yeah. interested. It's just great. And next episode is 33, right? Yeah. And we got rumors or more than rumors now of some kind of new reimagining that is honoring this. Meaning oh, okay. they're not, that was like, I don't, see, I don't even know if I want to say it, but I guess I'm going to, I'm saying it. But I think it's legit. Right. I just don't know what it is. If it's a 
Netflix movie or a series or a six episode whatever. Yeah, I'm not sure. Now, we've obviously been through this to the end. It's been 17 fucking years. 17? You know, you know, 16 years at least. Right. Most people who listen to this know they watch it already. No one watches a commentary it's or listens. It's crazy that it's 16 years ago. So, talking about that real quick, where do you think they would go? <coughs> Meaning... Do you think in the storytelling that they're going for, they're going to go look for a sideline story, a before, after? So, I would think they, after if they're going to honor this. Well, well, I'll explain why I think that's hard. So, if you go before, you have to go between Caprica, the show, right, and Adama getting retired. So you could do that period, yeah. right? Yeah. Or you could take this show and run it with a new show that runs sideline. Oh, okay. At the so same time. you could put chapters of this show, let's say season two, and then highlight they just missed the Galactic. Right, right. right. And that's how it goes. <clears throat> and then now we go to your first instinct was it's after the show ends. Right. right. <coughs> I think it would be a sideline. If that's how you honor it, right? That's how you yeah, don't mess with anything. Because we could talk about what happens. How are you going to progress the future of the Earth they were on? Right. You're going to do it what now and then retell the story. You know what you could do? You could do this. You ready? You could set everything up so it's going to be exactly the same, and then you throw in a pebble in the pond. Right. It sends out ripples and changes everything. Hmm. I don't know, but my first guess was sidelong. Right. It happened while this show was going on. And you know what? You could do it like second season is the last season that it is. And as Basagothia sends everything to Earth, the show says, we're being tracked. We can't go with them. Right. So then it's after also, but not after for the... Because remember, they got rid of everything, right? Remember, they got Mm -hmm. got supposedly... Yeah. They can make... They can reveal a lot of shit, right? Right. But you do have one mysterious thing. No, you have three, actually, but let's say one. You do have an element that they didn't close on, because they closed on the Baltar 6. Right. But never Starbuck. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't sealed up. She didn't, like, grab uh, Apollo's hand and go... We're having babies, or so you know, like right. there was no progression to that. It was like <clears throat> blink, remember? Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, finished drinks, fucking three or four hours long. Thank you for joining us. We're going to get out of here. Justin, say goodbye. That know. was good, lady. Oh, drunken monk, addiction master, on Twitter. You could find all my stuff. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. Take care, everybody.